If you've been watching my videos, I'm sure you recognize this blue 300D here. Um, I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, man, this thing must be really in bad shape. I mean, after looking at the condition of the air filter, some have said, well, what's the oil like? Is it like tar? Maybe, you know, what's the condition of some of the other things like the fuel injectors? You know, everything's probably worn out. Nothing was maintained. I mean, that's the assumption, okay? So I have to admit that was a pretty nasty looking air filter, but I just finished adjusting the valves. I pulled the valve cover off and you can see here, we got in there, I got my helper, we adjusted the valves and guess what? Every single one of them was tight. All the exhausts, all the intakes were at least 2000s tight. I mean, there were a couple of intakes that were almost at zero. So it was obvious that I don't think the valves have been adjusted recently, that's for sure. But the cam lobes were in good condition. The chain was tight. The sprockets look good. So that's a positive sign. You know, I've pulled all the injectors out. I'm going to show you later in another video how those injectors look. But I've got my trusty compression tester here now, and we're going to do a compression test. And you know how I feel about compression tests. This is really going to be the test of all tests for this car. You know, I've avoided doing a bunch of stuff on this car because I'm not going to do it if the engine's worn out. If that compression is poor, uh, we'll probably just let this thing go on down the road. So I thought we would have a little fun. Those of you who've watched the other videos on this car, I want you to guess what the compression is going to be. After having seen everything else, and I know some of you have worked on these old diesels. You have a good range and a good feel of how, what the compression might be on an engine that's got, you know, I don't know, 250,000 plus miles. I have no records on this thing. The odometer stopped working a, a number of years ago. So give it your best shot. Guess what you think the compression readings are going to be when I do this here in the next hour or two and then in a later video probably within the next few days I'll report back and see how well you did.